Look, I know what you're thinking. This perfectly designed untucked shirt is just a slightly shorter shirt. It's a very small innovation. You're right. Just like a keychain is just a ring to hold your keys. Like pockets. They're just bags for your pants. Like a twist tie. It's just a more flexible paper clip. Mmm, how very unstale. Sometimes it's the smallest innovations that make the biggest changes and make you look really, really good. Untuck it. Shirts designed to be worn untucked. Forgot my floss. Yarn for my teeth. Please join me in welcoming Untuck It co-founder and clearly super spokesperson for the brand, Chris Riccobono. Chris, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks a lot for having me. Oh, we're thrilled. And I have to say, just on a very personal note, Untuck It is really kind of near and dear to my heart. In my real life, I'm an executive stylist and I work with people on self, all aspects of self-presentation. For years, like literally many years, I would take all my men's shirts to the tailor and have them shortened and tapered and refit. And on an airplane one year, one day of one year, I spotted an ad for Untuck It. And I started to travel with you guys down the rabbit hole and you have done amazing, amazing things. So you've been at this since 2010. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Feels even longer with the last two years of Corona. Of course, <laughs> last but, year, um, only ten by themselves. Oh my gosh! So, uh, yeah, and <clears throat> I was in corporate America. I'd always want to be an entrepreneur. I always had a problem. It was one of those things that they always tell you: the best idea as an entrepreneur is one that solves a problem that you have yourself. And I literally just couldn't find the shirt to be worn untucked. They were all too long. And the reason I never did anything about it is I said I must be missing something or not understand the world of fashion because someone would have done this by now because everyone I would talk to had the same problem. Um, so I said, I'm just going to try it. Let me go out. I'm, I wandered the fashion district of New York. I brought the one shirt that I like that I own that was out of spec. It was a small when I wear a large, but it was the right length. It was, it fit me and it was the only shirt I wore. So I brought it into some factories in New York and found out slowly how to make a shirt. Um, and then I said, I think I can, I can tempt this. I called a, my, a business school partner who I had called with hundreds of ideas. You usually hung up the phone kind of in the middle of the ideas. And this time he said, oh my gosh, I, he said, I know exactly what you mean. And I'm in, I can't wait to do this. So we then set out to raise money, which was not easy to do when you're telling people their ideas to make a shorter shirt. Uh, most people didn't get it or would laugh. Um, but we, we launched and we launched more as a hobby. I mean, I was still working. My partner was working. I would work, you know, 20 hour days, just trying to figure things out. The first three seasons of our shirts were horrible because I had no idea what I was doing. I was, you know, I wasn't following the processes. Um, the buttons were falling off. They were shrinking in half. Um, but luckily we hadn't gone to the masses yet. But what we did see was that so many people loved the concept and they would write us and say i wish i thought of this i've been want needing this product for so long that i get my shorts shortened and this and that um so finally in 2014 we said we're wasting our time we know people like this let's just market if we run out of money we run out of money we didn't have a lot of money we actually had twenty one thousand dollars, and they told us we needed one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to market they also told us we needed three months and we said we have enough money for two weeks. So we did it. We did it in New York radio and we did one airline magazine ad, which was the only thing we could afford. Um, and the response was, you know, we would we would get hundreds of people to the site with just, you know, a small radio ad, um, which isn't normal. And I think when we told this story, finally, shirts designed to be worn untucked, it really resonated. Um, so fast forward, we opened our first store in Soho in September 2015. People say, why stores? It's because most men still wanted stores. Even though it was the, the everyone was talking about brick and mortar going away, we knew that 70% of our emails said, we're not buying a shirt unless we can touch and feel the product. So we opened that store. It did tremendous. And then over the next three years, we opened 86 stores. We opened in England. Uh, we opened six in Canada. And we were doing, we were, you know, the fastest growing ends brand pre-corona. And then uh, if you want, I could talk about Corona if you want. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is you came in, you disrupted an ages old industry. 
I don't know that anybody actually intends to do that when they have an idea or, or set out to solve a problem, but there is something to be said for really stepping into the commitment and the fact that you got so much great feedback from it. Uh, the fact that working from home was not really new to you and Corona just kind of sent us all back into working from home. But you've also, you've picked, you've picked your lane where you've partnered with some great ambassadors. You've really figured out who, who wants your product, who needs your product. And I have to say the, the one thing that really is notable is that you promote your product. You obviously love the product and are very passionate about it. You're very brand forward um, in your public presence. And I think people really appreciate that too. So how did you keep that going during these last couple of years? You know, I know you've got kids at home and you're, you're running the business from home. So how's that working for you? Yeah, it was a challenge. I mean, we were on February 2020, we had just opened a few months earlier in England. Things were going great. We were going to open up all across Europe. Like I said, we had opened 86 stores. We were just, everything was, was hitting on all levels. Um, all cylinders. And then obviously Corona came in. Corona didn't only impact our stores, which is what most people think, even though we have 86 of them, they did, they did suffer. It was the fact that people changed their lifestyles and people were buying our shirts to go to the office. They were buying our shirts to try when they traveled, they were wearing them pretty much all the time that they were out socializing, work, travel, and all of that stopped and it shifted to athleisure. And that's really where we got hurt. Luckily we had other products that kept us afloat in 2020 in 2021, we once again were battling like when when anytime Delta or Omicron went up, we would go down. You could see kind of a correlation to it, um, especially in our stores. But we ended up doing really well in 21. We got back to our 2019 levels. And now we're we're really excited about the future, mainly because we are perfectly positioned for post pandemic, um, because even those and I talked to tons of them, you know, the guys who wore suits for 40 years or 30 years of their life. Um, they are now going to wear button down casual shirts, untucked shirts is what they tell us, because they're not going to wear T-shirts, which they've been wearing in the pandemic or polos. Um, but they're also not going to go put a crisp white shirt tucked in the pants, you know, because it's, it's, there's somewhere in between. So we are really excited. We're starting to see um, some, some great results, really, really good comping over 19 finally. Um, so it's very exciting. It's been a challenge. I, I have four and a half four kids under four and a half, not twins. So every year uh, it wasn't the plan, but it happened. And so it's been, you know, half my calls are wandering around on the phone, you know, in between kids, but uh, it's, it's been a long two years for anyone who, so many business owners, it's been a long two years. And, it, and the, the worst part about it was the peaks. If you just knew it was going to be terrible for two years, you would adjust it. It was the hope that the amount of calls we had will say, we're two months away and it's going to be gone. We're two months away and it's going to be gone. We're two months, you know, and and here we found ourselves a month ago, probably in the worst it's been um, just from a volume of cases. So anyway, we're very, very excited. We're going to begin our international expansion again. Um, our women's line had taken off uh, pre-pandemic as well. And we actually did really well in the pandemic. Yeah. Um, so we're very excited about that. So we're, uh, we're, this is, if you got me two months ago, I was probably a little down again, but now I, I've never, I'm so positive about these next as warm weather comes, as people go back to the office um, and people start traveling again, it's going to be a good time. That's great. And I understand the women's line was actually in response to the request by the women of the men who were already buying Untucket. Makes so much sense. And what are what are some of your favorite items in the collection? Oh, uh, there's quite a few. I mean, I, I love plaids, um, especially like hanging out here. They're just so comfortable. Um, I love our performance um, performance button downs, which feel like a t-shirt. They were a huge hit during, people kind of shifted from wrinkle freeze uh, to our performance button downs, which feel like you're wearing a t-shirt, but in a button down. Um, and the other item that everyone loves and I love too, is our traveler pants. Um, people golf in them, they hang out in them, they're light, they're waterproof, um, water, you can spill something on them, it rolls off. Um, so those are are some of my, I mean, I'm, I'm also, a Hen, I love wearing Henleys. Um, uh, so our, the, our product's great because it's, you know, we have a, what people don't know is our demographic is almost evenly distributed from 25 to 75 or 70. It's a massive demographic um, because it 
it makes you look nice and elevated, but you don't have to think about it. Right. And we spend a lot of time on specifications and, and consistency of fit which was a big problem before we got in. I, one of the re other reasons I got into this, so you can buy one and buy 20 more. They're all going to fit the same. Um, and you don't have to think about it. And guys love that. They want to look good without thinking about it. And that's- Does, uh, does the doing. online business match the brick and mortar business at this point? How is that? How's that? Uh, yeah, I mean, Corona skews it a little bit, but we were about 50-50 before we went into Corona. Um, and I think we'll get back to that. So Stores I know you have a category called the bad boys, and I, I want to talk about that for one second, just because the guys who will, in fact, tuck in your shirt against the rules, sort of. So yeah. <laughs> I love that. And I wanted I wanted to just point out my dad, who is 89, has shrunk. And so he's a little shorter than he was. And we're, again, looking at his shirts getting so long. And even though he's a tucker inner, um, he loves the untuck it shirts because they are just the right uh, length and he can go both ways. So I want you to just take that demographic into consideration because you may just stretch your demographic from 25 to 90. If you just it, hang on, you know, a couple <laughs> more months till my dad hits his 90th birthday. That's funny. Yeah. A lot of guys wear our shirts to the office tucked in and then untuck them. Cause that was the joke. These you know wall street guys would wear the untuck their suit shirts after work and they'd go for drinks and they just came down their knees. Yeah, that was it. And they it just, well, thank you. As, as someone who really appreciates um, good style, great looks, and especially men who, you know, take care to look really great. I'm grateful to you. I know our audience is also, where can they find more information or even purchase Untuck It? It's go to untuckit.com. Um, or like we said, we have 80, we have store almost in every city now, uh, multiple. I think we have seven in California. Um, obviously seven in New York. So there's a lot of places you can buy a shirt. Super. And they can find all of that information on the website. Chris, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck with whatever's coming next for Untuck It. We'll see you again. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And we'll be right back.